Howdy. Today, I was actually going to replace the battery on my uh, copy of 1080 snowboarding here. But I have just realized that I am out of uh, the batteries that have the little tabs on them. I have some of these, but I don't have any of the holders. So um, that project is going to get put to the side, I'm afraid. But also in the N64 realm, I have this controller, which is my uh, daily driver, if you will, the one I use when I'm playing. And so it's the one that's got the most miles on it. Yeah, you know, the second player's controller has a fair amount of use on it, but this is the one I use, I use all the time. I put this uh, GameCube style replacement joystick in it probably, probably almost five years ago now, actually. It's, Kind of hard to believe it's been that long but it's yeah that's probably about right but anyways i've been using it fairly regularly possibly even longer than that um and i noticed fairly recently it's it would start getting stuck kind of in this position it's actually pretty bad now and um so i'm going to take it apart so you know i'm gonna take it apart and see if i can actually like clean out the stick if that's what it is because it seems to like improve i put some uh, white lithium grease in there and that kind of helped for a while but then I don't know it's, it seems like it's just jammed up with something so I'm going to see if I can take the controller part and take the stick apart and see if there's anything I can do to fix that and then that will tell me a lot about the real life longevity of these GameCube sticks because they're great while they last but I don't know five years is I, I don't I don't know what five years is five years is not too bad I guess but uh, the original ones definitely uh, last longer than that if you took care of them. So I've really abused it. I've played played it with it pretty hard. It's got a lot of rounds of Mario Party on it, but should be able to hold up to that. So uh, we'll see what we find. I always mention this anytime I'm taking an N64 controller apart to anyone who may be watching. Is that uh, you want to? You have the obvious. Uh, what is it? Seven screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then there's two not so obvious screws on the one on either side of the uh, control pack uh, connector there. So you always want to watch out for those because it will, it should come right apart. You shouldn't have to pry it at all. And I gotta say, there's a fair amount of crud inside here. I know I would have cleaned this when I took it apart. Uh, to install the stick originally, so that's what five years of uh, gamer grime looks like, I guess. Gross. Mm, fair amount in here too. So, so this stick pops in the same way that the original one does. Z button snaps in all just the same. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite stiff. Bend that back out of the way. Pop this little connector out. Take these out. Remember one of these I uh, got uh, apart. I'm pretty sure I still have it. Um, it's the one of the first controllers we got when we bought our N64. We bought the bundle that had the gray and uh, atomic purple controller in it, and it was on the atomic purple specifically when I went to take the joystick out and replace that one. It actually did not have any screws here. These three screws that I just took out, they weren't even there. And it didn't make a difference, you know, the whole life of the controller. And I was just wondering if it was like how that how that kind of mistake happens, you know. Uh, Kind of interesting, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see if I can take the housing of this thing apart. It doesn't. Yeah, actually, it does. It snaps together the same way the uh, original one does. So let's move the, just the whole body of the controller over there and see if this thing grenades on us. Mm. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on! Here we go. Ew. 
Sounded a little crunchy. I don't like that too much. Crunch. I don't see any screws anywhere. Even the original one had some uh, screw holding it together as well. But oh, this is horrifying. I feel like there's a 100% chance. <laughs> May not be looking good this far. Yeah, it definitely does not want to not want to give it up easily. It's like looks like it's meant to come apart right here, but then it really eh? maybe it's glued. It does seem like it's kind of coming apart. It'd be really nice if I could get it apart without breaking it at least. There we go. I do feel like there's maybe a thin layer of glue on there or something. Keep wandering eyes out. I'm seeing their alien N64 stick replacement technology. Ugh. And so you can see it is pretty much the same design as the GameCube stick in there. Uh, almost looks like the same part to be honest with you and it doesn't seem to be hanging up there you know what I mean the actual joystick itself seems to be fine so it is just interference between the the dome and the, and the housing here so I'll see what I can do about that it's pretty dirty I'll see if cleaning it up and maybe giving everything a layer of lubrication or maybe this is kind of a rough plastic edge in here too I'm gonna to see if I can't uh, maybe sand on that a little bit and improve it all right that seems to have done it I can't after some cleaning and lubrication and I did sand on the inside of that dome a little bit too seems to be fine and even, this is the trouble area, even if I like really drag it, can't seem to repeat the fault. Okay, five years later, it needs a little cleaning and maybe a little adjustment, lubrication, but it will, uh, it'll do it for you. Peace. <laughs> you mean the Chaos Emeralds?